Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oye me, que bola, chicas. It's your girl Olivia here, and I'm giving you today's dose of female facts. giving you all the facts you need to know about herpes, how one gets it, how to prevent it, and can you get tested for it. First off, let's get one thing straight. You've most likely already have been exposed to herpes. Wait, wait, chill out. Herpes is super common. It causes very few medical problems, if at all any. Let me break this all down for you so we could clear up the stigma against herpes. First off, let's talk about transmission. About 75% of Americans actually already carry herpes simplex virus, or HSV, either type one or type two. The virus can be transmitted through physical contact, like kissing, or the exchange of body fluid, like salivary, penile, or vaginal secretions. Also, if you do carry the virus, there's an 80% chance that you will never even have symptoms. In the past, herpes 1 was of the mouth and herpes 2 was of the genitals, but that doesn't apply anymore. Herpes 1 can be either on your mouth or your genitals, and the same goes for herpes 2. Ever heard of a cold sore or a fever blister? That's just another name for oral herpes, which very commonly appears during childhood. The symptoms to look out for if you think you're having an outbreak of herpes is a burning or tingling sensation. This burning or tingling sensation will soon become small fluid filled bumps that last anywhere between four to seven days. Your doctor can prescribe you medication which will help decrease its severity. How should you protect yourself? If you're having sex with a guy, use condoms for oral, vaginal, or anal sex. If you're having sex with a girl, use a dental dam. Still not 100% effective, but it will decrease the chances of getting herpes significantly. Definitely avoid having sex during an outbreak if you have genital herpes, and avoid kissing your partner if you're having an outbreak of oral herpes. Okay, how about being tested for herpes? The reason your doctor won't test you, and also the reason why it's not included in your typical STD screening, is because you've probably already been exposed to the virus. That's how common it is. Remember, herpes is just a virus. You know how you get a cold sometimes? Well, a cold is a virus that lives in your lungs. Herpes is a virus that just lives on a facial nerve, or a nerve in your genitals. Having herpes doesn't mean you're dirty or that you sleep around a lot. Something that can't be cured, but it's just a skin lesion that pops up once or twice a year. Maybe none at all. If you do know you have it though, please let your sexual partner know. It's only fair so that they could take care of their own sexual health as well. So that concludes my episode on herpes. If you have any questions, don't ask me because I'm not a doctor. <laughs> just kidding. Shoot me messages in the question box below. I'll ask my mom. She's a doctor. I'm just kidding again. I'll probably just Google it. Again, joke. Ask your own doctor. I'm not a doctor. Just a third year medical student. Stay tuned for next week's episode where I'll be talking about even more STDs. Subscribe or don't as long as you share. The only thing I ask is that you please share this with as many of your girlfriends as possible so we can unite, educate, and empower women worldwide. Peace out, chicas.